Do you know that in Excel, there is a tool called Analyze Data in Excel with a single click? When you go on your Excel document, this tool is just there. You will see it, Analyze Data. Caveat, this is only available for the paid subscription of Excel. Yes, you heard me right. So there is Microsoft 365, a subscription base, that's a web version and a laptop version uh, and, a, and a desktop version, but it's all connected to. When you go on it, I'm going to be practicalizing one of it with you today. That immediately you click on the analyze data, it will tell you things about your data that you don't know. We're going to be using that in the practical session. Please don't miss it. And the first thing I'm going to open in Excel is I'm going to practicalize the analyze feature in Excel. So let me pull up my Excel file. This is the Excel file I'm going to be using. Yes, this is the Excel file I'm going to be using. Interestingly, this Excel file has to do with an employee data, as it were. How many individuals are within this data? That's the first thing uh, that you need to know. So very small. Is it better now? You don't necessarily need to see the entire data set. It's just to see the output, as it were. So how many individuals are within this data set? Um, there's a function in Excel called Excel table uh, that if you enable the totals row, you'll be able to know how many data sets that you have. So I have one around 15 within this data. I don't need to be counting one after the other. For those of you that doesn't know Excel, some of these things are some of the things that we do in the HR data analysis uh, bootcamp, which I'm going to give you details about it after now for those that may be interested. So now, this is the data that I have. How can Excel help me? So I want to know what exactly is in this data. I don't know what this data is about. So um, interestingly, I have a paid subscription uh, in, of Excel, and I have this tool there called Analyze with Excel. Now, this is what I'm going to do. So when I go into that tool, it says it can help you discover more about your data. Immediately, I click on it. I have the data. I just put my cursor within the data, and I click on Analyze with Excel. This is the focus point. Just look at this side, this sidebar. I can't make it bigger than this, unfortunately. Let me see. Okay, so I think this will be uh, this will be helpful. So now I did not do anything. All I did was to click within my data set, and Excel detected there is a data there. That's the power of analyze with Excel. It's a generative AI tool embedded into Microsoft Excel. I mean, Microsoft Excel, the most simplest data analytics tool that you must learn about. Microsoft Excel. Now, what is it saying? Look at what it has done for me. It has gone into that data, found out that there are some age group, job grades that are there. Meet management, top management, middle management. What did it do? It broke them into the years of service, length of service, LOS, in this case. It gives me the those that are above 15 years of age. It gives me how many of them? Between 18. Now, this is what it has done. Age by job grade and by length of service. This is just doing it, giving me ideas. And it breaks them down. What's their age and how many years? So for those that are in management, it gives me the average age and the rest. And I can insert it as a pivot table for those of you that doesn't know what a pivot table is. Pivot table is a powerful way we can summarize large set of data. Some of the tools we will be doing in the bootcamp into details. Time may not permit me to do that now. Then look at what Excel has done. I did not do this. It just told me that the, from this data that I have, majority of them are baby boomers gen x gen y and gen z so within this organization now you will be able to see that the numbers of gen z's in this organization is very small by extension it's a problem there's what we call workforce planning when you have baby boomers they are both 56 years of age remember it means that for most organization retirement age is from 60 65. the implication of that is that this individual just have 10 more years to work within the organization and they will retire. Now, the problem of having a very um, aged organization, very, all of them are baby boomers, is that in the next 10 years, that organization may not exist if they don't recruit more people. Unfortunately for this same organization, you have a Gen X that are already above 40, <laughs> between 40 and 55, that are the next set of people. So it means once the baby boomers are completely out, then the Gen X are there, then the individuals are supposed to remain within the organization which is the Gen Zs and the Millennials, which is the Gen Y. They are not much in the organization. So when you say you have an aging 
population within an organization or an aging workforce this is the definition of an aging workforce reason being that the larger percentage of people are close to retirement can you see what i've done with that data there i started with the raw data i brought in analyze with excel or analyze with data and what have i done i've been able to analyze that and you can see the data and i can start to bring insight so when i'm not going to an hr report and i'm not sitting in front of my uh, my board and i'm saying we need to do aggressive management training programs another thing that all of this i have not pressed any calculation excel is doing everything for me that's generative ai in excel for you 